and we begin. Game number one, uh, best of three series between Level Up and Nine Pandas. We are looking at a Husker lineup coming in from Level Up uh, against the Ember Spirit, wherein he does have uh, a very good opportunity on uh, this Husker to just take over the game completely uh, in the initial stages itself. Uh, though he's, he has some counters uh, to work against, uh, which is again, of course, the Bristolback who just turns his back um, un unless the uh, Husker gets the Aghanim Scepter. So that's one thing we would be looking at what exactly is going to be the item progression for this Husker. And if he's able to get, in, uh, get to a good enough start that he is actually able to have an impact. Um, in the mid game close to the 15 20 minute mark wherein they have to be leading they have to be leading by a very high margin uh, To be taking this game for themselves on the other hand nine pandas They're going to be feeling very comfortable with their draft. They can drag this game to as long as they want um, a late game ember spirit uh, and uh, Dragonite along with the bat rider and the vengeful spirit coming in with the swaps um, Could be a little difficult to handle and uh, very uh, singles and any target they choose to go up on is uh, technically going to be absolutely dead right so we are looking at a pause coming in at the very early stages uh four man smoke not heading into anywhere at the moment they would be able to break their smoke uh in the bottom lane i think it's the alchemist who might be going ahead and breaking the smoke uh well bristol can go into visual nasal go in case if he finds the opportunity to go ahead and get close to this alchemist Alright, tip already being shared from the Dragon Knight to the Ember Spirit. <laughs> of course, uh, the vision advantage is still not there. Well, the level up team did place uh, Observer Ward near, uh, well, in the, career, in the creep camp itself. So, yeah, just going ahead and disabling it to be stacked and then again giving away vision in case if they want to make an attempt for the first blood too. In terms of the lanes, it, it is again Husker who wins pretty convincingly against uh, the Ember Spirit in the first six levels. So, uh, yeah, it should be an interesting lane where we might be looking at some rotations made by Nine Panda supports, which can always be balanced out. You just go ahead and harass the Husker enough with multiple heroes that he's not able to have an impact and is uh, struggling to get his items. Right, so here we go. Is it going to be... Let's see who the rune goes to. No, they're just going to give up on it. So, it is going to be two bounty runes uh, for the Radiant team and evenly. Uh, it is going... To, well, it is three bounty runes. It's only the Alchemist who was... Alchemist and Huskar, okay. So, two bounty runes shared between both of these teams. We're in an even start. No first blood has been spilled as yet. So, pretty peaceful times at the beginning Just itself. Uh, going ahead and looking at the lane matchups we have in this game. Uh, mid lane, it is going to be position two, Husker against an Ember Spirit. Wherein, um, just by the hero matchup, Husker does win this lane comprehensively. Uh, but again, would be interesting to see if Erase actually gives him uh, the opportunity in order to just take control of this entire game. Though he would be doing dishing out a lot of damage with his burning spears and uh, just gets that additional advantage in the mid lane. Uh, moving in the top area of the map, we are looking at a courier being killed. Oh no, Solo, what did you do? <laughs> Anyways, uh, it is going to be a Doom plus a Pagna going uh, up against Solo on his bat rider, and Utah would be playing the position one Dragon Knight. Uh, should be a pretty decent matchup for all of these heroes as in uh, there is no kill threat as such uh, But yeah, Pagna and Doom can actually bring down the Dragon Knight as we saw One hit of Infernal Braid uh, does a decent chunk of damage though There are kills to be had and it is already two kills Going in the hands of the Bristol back in the bottom area of the map Yeah, I apologize for missing that people but again it was the first blood already taken uh, so two kills going in the hands of Bristol back to start off the proceedings and the nine pandas are going to be extremely happy with the start that they have got in this uh, game number one. Uh, now as our levels are going to be progressing, well we are looking at uh, Erase actually doing a decent job against the Husker. He is able to out harass him at the moment. Husker though is sitting with nine last hits and two denies and Ember with six but an equal amount of damage has to be has been done on the Husker as well. So uh, yeah, this lane uh, He's not actually getting the kind of start that he would have kind of hoped for. Um, but let's see if it actually changes once we have more levels coming into these heroes. 
Right, uh, as you previously missed, uh, there were a couple of girls in the bottom area where in clockwork. Um, well, this time around, they should be able to find the special square itself. Yeah, a return kill going in the hands of uh, Level Up, wherein they were at least able to get themselves on the boat, uh, getting a little bit of gold into the pockets of the Alchemist in the clockwork, wherein did they both of them did suffer a death each in the bottom lane uh, right so uh, as we have uh, level 3 on Husker has 2 points in burning spur and 1 point in berserker's blood so yeah uh, is a little bit more sustaining in the lane as he's dropping low on HP so his HP region uh, would always be in high regards always has what he has 3 conflicts of strength so uh, nice bit of health helping him with his uh, health regeneration uh, now there were cogs committed but i don't think bristol back is the hero you want to go up on but they are going to be making a move uh, while that was happening ember spirit did get a cull and the husker in the mid lane and now uh progressing on are they going to get any kill this seems to be the case uh, one more pull needed no uh, he was able to commit with the uh, healing salve onto the clockwork so he would be able to survive that engagement but while we were uh, watching the bottom um, massacre kind of a thing it is ember spirit who was able to kill off the oscar is he going to feed no <laughs> i thought he was just going to go to tier one tower and feed that would have been hilarious uh but again he is going to go ahead and try and continue the momentum on uh, the side of ember spirit and the tip has to be given right this is a hero who was specifically picked in order to out harass uh, the ember spirit but uh, th he has two Stacks of burning spears should not be enough now. He's, he's going to survive uh, and would be able to make his way onto the bounty rune where he'll be able to pick that up, get himself uh, back up in terms of HP and mana. And in the meantime, Huskar is just going ahead and farming uh, these creeps. Right, so the well, he well, it is the Huskar who was able to grab that water rune for himself. He would be able to grab the second rune as well. And uh, now Ember is not left with any regeneration. Uh, he would be able to push out the waves near the tier 1 tower. Uh, there are no hero deaths, so he would not be able to get... Uh, uh, well, well, Dragon Knight is falling low on HP in the top area of the map, but again, he's a Dragon Knight. Uh, not scared of too much being thrown at him. Uh, in, at the meantime, Solo is finding himself... No. Solo is able to back away successfully as well. Uh, so, um, in, a, in, in all these laning stages, while we are looking at it, it is a Bristol back who is leading the uh, last hit charts with 26 last hits. Uh, though Alchemist is not too far behind with 25. And then we are looking at Husker who is sitting on 22 last hits. In the meantime, there is... Uh, what uh, what are you doing here, Clock? Uh, they would not be able to catch up to the clockwork. It's nowhere close to the 7 red mark, but what the hell he's doing in the area would be able to get a free reset uh, by doing some damage onto the Ancients. And yeah, it's a free reset. Neutral creeps, uh, creep get that experience. So yeah, we are going to be looking at a pretty hefty uh, dragon there. But uh, well, in the mid lane, uh, yeah, Erase did have to go back to the base. Uh, have just losing too much HP there. Uh, not wanting to commit against the Huskers, so we'll go ahead and TP successfully back into uh, the mid tier 1 tower. Now we are looking at some movement coming in from uh, the Vengeful Spirit. So it is uh, what the 6 minute rune we, which we might be looking for a fight for, but it's still 30 seconds away. Now there is a nice bit of vision set up by Yamech, uh, and uh, the Husker is going to just go into the other area. Yep, he did uh, see the deep teleportation coming in from the Void Spirit, so he's sensing. A kind of a gank coming his way it is the six minute rune which is going to be spawning in seven seconds uh where is it going to go top or bottom um it goes bottom okay so uh it is uh an his rune on ember so i i think the uh, well, uh he's dead he's dead he's definitely dead i don't think he would be able to survive this attempt of course the bat rider did go ahead and uh join in the party as well so uh, stealing some a little bit of experience in gold, but it is the Husker who is going down the second time in the mid lane, courtesy of the rotations uh, being made by the nine panda supports. Wherein we did see uh, the bat rider coming in with the final hit. Now they would also be able to get a kill onto the Bagna who did commit. Uh, now who, who did go ahead and decrepify uh, de himself, but now uh, Lumpar will have to be careful. Uh, still the damage coming in, one more hit needed and they would be able to find that kill. But it is going to be the Husker who would be able to find the skill. Now it is. Uh, uh, Yamech still, still, is it a deny? No, it would not be a deny from the neutral creeps. And eventually, Huskar is able to reach level 6 now. Uh, of course, he's uh, working on his armlet currently, uh, which is uh, well, one of the, well, 
the one of the only items that Husker goes for in the initial stages of the game. Uh, would be able to get a good deny, but again, Ember Spirit is level 6, is not in any threat of dying, but there is no follow-up damage as well. Uh, there is no level 6 on Clockwork to catch the Ember, so they would not be able to get that catch, and uh, Erase is going to be doing pretty decently for himself. Uh, this is, well, we did see a kill on Solo in the bottom area of the map, wherein it is, no, it, in the top area where the Doom was able to grab his hands on him. Uh, now, uh, it is uh, going to be uh, Alchemist who is uh, kind of threatened uh, by the rotation being made by the Dragon Knight as well. They would be able to get a nice stun onto the Bristol. He has already taken in a lot of damage. We'll have to be careful. Uh, it is, uh, no, they are just going to be backing away. They don't have enough damage in the tank. But those heroes are falling a little low on HP. Though there is Solo coming in along with Yamacha as well into the area. But there are, uh, no, there are no further teleportations coming in from the side of uh, Level Up. Uh, they would be going in and throwing in uh, the acid spray to go ahead and harass a little bit of um, more on the Dragonite. But uh, since he has already lost access uh, to his Dragon form, would not be able to continue the chase. So um, at, the, at the end of it, they would be managing to get at least a kill on this tier 1 tower by the looks of it. Uh, chemical rages of cooldown in 2 seconds. So yeah, they would not be able to find that kill onto the Alchemist. So while all of that is happening, the top tier 1 tower is being assaulted by the Pagna and Doom. Of course, Pagna, a great tower pusher, would be able to push onto the tier 1 tower and they would be able to bring down one objective on the side of level up. And in terms of the net worth, we are looking at the Alchemist, who is sitting at 4,300, right at the top of the net worth chart, where he should be. And um, the second in the list is, of course, the Doom. So two cores out of uh, the three having a pretty decent start. Of course, uh, Haskar has had a decent start as well, but of course, you would have expected a lot more uh, from this Haskar in the initial stages of the game. He should have won his lane comprehensively. Uh, instead, just ended up giving away two kills in the hands of the Ember Spirit. So, a uh, hero, which he was uh, heavily countered for, uh, did get a good enough start. So, uh, we are looking at Erase as well, off to a very decent start in this uh, game number one with a kill score of 2 0 and 1. Um, is doing decently well for himself at the moment. Is going to go into his Orb of Corrosion um, as he already has his face boot, so that additional bit of armor reduction uh, comes in very handy with the slow as well. So that is something that Ember Spirit is going to be working upon in terms of itemization. Um, of course, we will be looking at an Alchemist who is going to be working towards his Radiance eventually. Is already about 1350 gold into it. So should have it completed in a decent, in a decent amount of time. About say 13 and a half or the 14 minute mark when we are expecting uh, this Radiance to come through. What about the rest of the heroes? Uh, we are looking at... Uh, Bristolback, who's going to be working towards his Aghanim Scepter as his first choice of item after his power threat, so just going into the tanky build, has gone with seeing red as well. So uh, offlane Bristolback, you generally see the vicious na nasal goo uh, face it, but this time around it is the seeing red. So he is going for that aggressive kind of a move wherein, uh, yeah, he would be able to output a lot of damage onto these uh, what melee cores which the lineup of level up have gone for themselves so uh, i'm looking at a lot of problems for the side of uh, level up in the upcoming minutes wherein this bristol back is going to be very tough to deal with uh, when he would be just dishing out a lot of damage with his quills and then um well you don't have you just you do have a doom as an answer but again you have to commit with your doom onto uh the bristol back and then you're left with the dragon knight who would be just chunking out the damage Right, so that is uh, looking out to be a situation wherein there is movement from Solo. So he is only level 4, but again, he would be able to, of course, assist uh, with his uh, flame break as well. So it seems that the Husker is pretty much Donzo. Stun would be coming in from the Venge as well, who is uh, Yamach is just following up the Batrider. So this is an imminent kill, which we are looking at on the Husker as soon as the game unpauses. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Right, so, well, uh, the good thing is the pause is unpaused now. Uh, we can resume with the game and uh, looking at the supports on the side of level up, uh, it is already on a building spree. Of course, we did see that the Ember was, of course, going up at the head uh, while there were a nice rotation coming in. Uh, though it is uh, going to be Husker who was able to get a return kill on uh, Solo there. But uh, yeah, at least uh, th it is still the mid laner going down on the side of level up. Who has uh, technically become a liability. Uh, now with absolutely no items to speak of, still working on his uh, armlet. Uh, which is like, we have not seen any rotations whatsoever from this Husker. And we are not going to be looking at them uh, anytime soon as well. Uh, while all of that is happening, uh, they would be able to go ahead and put out a bit of more harassment onto the mid tier 1 tower, wherein yeah, they are just farming pretty decently. Um, now, it is going to be Focus who is being chased by the Dragon Knight, but again, yeah, he, he would well go ahead and just choke him around the corner and is going to just use the Twin Gate in order to go back to the bottom area of the map by the looks of it, is he? He's just going to go ahead and cut the creep wave by the looks of it. Yep, he's just going to be cutting the creep waves. Trying to get a little bit of more farm for himself. Understanding, yes, he has no space in this bottom lane to farm whatsoever. Uh, against uh, Bristolback, who is what um, already completed with his first point, uh, with his first component of the Aghanim Scepter. Uh, with 1500 health, dishing out a decent chunk of damage. Uh, so yeah, the Alchemist has no space in that area to farm up. So he's going to leave that. Uh, all that while it is uh, the 10-minute mark, so we are looking at a siege creep uh, assaulting down, but a lot of rotations are being made. Uh, Doom, who has not been kind of uh, been involved in too many fights as yet, we are looking at him coming ahead and defending his mid tier one tower, which they should be able to do so. Um, though they are trying to get a jump onto the hero, they are not smoked up as yet, and it is only going to be Solo who is going to be taking all this experience for himself. Um, in uh, the mid lane. Eventually, we are going to be looking at this tower going down. Six stacks of sticky napalm onto it already. Uh, but yeah, there is a Pugna who would be able to come in. But no. Again, they don't have a catch for Solo. Look at him just going ahead and bringing down this tower uh, single handedly. Yep. So a bit of damage taken there. Uh, but just look at him, dude. This is just completely insane, right? What do you do? What do you do on the side of level up? Uh, would be the question. Yeah, he just requires a couple of Come more Sticky Napalm charges and he would be able to complete that tower. While that was happening, we did see uh, both uh, uh, the Doom and uh, the Husker going down in the bottom area of the map and just the rotations not working out for the sign of Nine Pandas. Uh, this game just began, uh, began with a disastrous start with uh, the Ember Spirit getting a solo kill onto the Husker and things have been pretty bad for them since then. Uh, right, uh, so uh, 12 minutes in, we are still working on a Radiance. Uh, still needs about, say, 800 more gold. Uh, it is an Alchemist, would be able to complete it in a decent chunk of time. 12 minutes in, uh, we are looking at, no, the Lasso has not been committed, uh, but again, he will be taking in a chunk of damage. Uh, but the Rune did go into the hands of Erase, who was able to, well, no, it is... With the rune. Oh, it was the invisibility rune which was grabbed. Clockwork did go ahead and uh, commit with his hook shot. They are able to do a decent chunk of damage onto Erase, but he would be able to walk away to his remnant. Uh, should be able to go back to the base, uh, uh, regen all of his HP and mana, and be back within a fraction of a minute. The tier 1 tower standing with 34 HP. Literally. Uh, would be able to get a nice shackle onto uh, the Pagna, and they are eventually going to deny. 
their mid tier one tower on the side of level up. Um, kill, uh, the kill score is uh, four to eight, uh, of course, favoring the side of nine pandas at the moment, and they are up with a slight one thousand lead against an alchemist lineup, uh, which could never be a good sign, right? Uh, and it is nine pandas who are going to be very aggressive on the map. Really, they don't have any specific lockdown. Uh, for this ember spread unless they are able to get a doom on him and uh, while we are looking at it yes we it is the radiance completed on uh, alchemist so his farm uh, is going to go up pretty rapidly is going into a, his sny as his next choice of item uh, but what do you do against uh, the both the dragon knight who is uh, with his uh, first item completed already uh, with an armlet and uh, well he's going into a blink dagger and then into a send white can go ahead and switch it up in case if he chooses to do so uh all while that is happening at least they would be able to collect kill and damage yeah uh level up with a little bit of respite there uh of their own and uh well they did not have to come out with the doom as well so we'll have that threat available in order to pick off a hero in case if they are able to get uh the nice uh, you know just soling out a hero uh, putting uh, applying the doom on him and it's just bringing him down before they can react so uh it is going to be nine pandas who are going to be prepping up for uh, the about the 20 minute mark 14 minute wisdom rune uh both the runes are just left as they are currently and uh, well the farm fest is going to continue for uh, both of these teams as we did see the radiance is completed on uh, alchemist and uh, no, there is no further move. Uh, they would uh, go ahead and uh, get well, a lot of decent chunk of damage, though they would not be able to get the connection onto the Doom. Well, the hook shot was off cooldown on another four seconds, so of course they did not have that opportunity. So they need the hook shot to be connecting onto Erase and then following up with Doom. Uh, though they are going to be making an attempt, uh, it, it is a two man smoke, so uh, they do have uh, what the hook shot and both the Doom which can be applied pagna is joining the party as well they would not be they would be able to find the uh, crystal back who is a little low on hp so in case if the hook, hook shot connection is successful uh, well it is of course going to be successful they would be able to apply that no they don't even have to come in with the doom now they can apply the doom and immediately these are two big kills going into the hands of nine of the hands of level up they would be able to get a nice stun on to the pagna but again utah is going to be finding himself in a lot of trouble it is the doom which has been applied and four good kills going into the signs of level up in the initial in the fight near the bottom tier three tower though there were some big ultimates which were committed uh the doom and uh, well it's only the doom which is their big ultimate right and all that while was happening huskar is just farming away to glory towards his blink dagger so the four man team coming from level up is it's just a clutch play uh they were able to get the required amount of damage get what four big kills for themselves and look at the net worth swing 5,000 net worth advantage for the side of level up in the early stages of the game wherein they did have a pretty horrid time to start off the proceedings in this game but eventually they have been able to come out on top taking a very good engagement in the bottom area now the question is are they able to continue with the uh, the kind of a momentum they have built up for themselves already with a 6,000 net worth lead uh, there is the BKB which would be completed in 918 gold um, on to the Husker so uh, the question would be is he able to make any difference uh, there is uh, well they did did they commit with the lasso yes they did commit on the lasso onto the Pagna but Pagna is a hero who is already very difficult to kill uh, there is a Husker who would be joining into the fight of course is just going to ignore the pistol back and is going to the life of Solo which he would be able to bring down all that while is happening of course uh, Lies would be able to walk out of that engagement without taking too much damage now it is going to be the nice swap coming in from Yamish they would be able to get their hands onto the Husker who is being healed up to a certain degree would be able to survive in the engagement now erase will have to be successful does have a remnant away and would be able to walk away all that while was happening focus was able to chase down the vengeful spread as well so another successful fight going into the hands of level up wherein they are able to get an 8000 net worth lead for themselves and now we are looking at an alchemist who sits pretty at right at the top with 12,900 will make it 13,000 net worth uh, on, against his name uh, 24 seconds before the doom is off cooldown are they able to make an attempt they do do have the drums of endurance available uh, but again that move again they are able to catch the dragon knight one more time infernal blade would be committed there is a lot of damage Pagna coming with the magical damage and they are able to bring down the safe lane again from the side of nine panda so level up 
actually making a very big comeback in this uh, game wherein they did have a horrid start now they are absolutely in the lead with a 9000 um, gold advantage against their name they are picking up momentum in this game number one and it would technically be a very big upset in case if they are able to bring down the side of uh, the dire side in this engagement right so uh, now it is uh, the bkb which is completed for uh, the Huskar and uh, with uh, that he should uh, be able to get more aggressive on the map uh, there is a hook shot connection on to erase they would not be able to get the doom the are ah, no though no, still he's fighting away no he, they are able to eventually bring down the uh, the Ember Spread one more time. Again, it is going to be Yamich who is going to be losing his life or is making an attempt to save his friend. Uh, the Doom was not even committed. So, in case if they want to make a move on this Bristol back, uh, yeah, Bristol back has to run away. He has to run away pretty quickly. They would, of course, be able to get the vision. Now, there is uh, the, uh, well, there would be the Doom which would be immediately committed. They do not have the hook shot available for another 29 seconds. It is a, a big Bristol back uh, in that own regard. They would be able to get the connection onto the hook shot, doing a lot of damage with the squirrels. But no, he's just been ping ponged into the area. And with those ping pongs, they are able to finish off the Bristol back as well. So now with the 13,000 network lead for level up in this game number one they are making a big statement here uh, right so no bristol back for 33 seconds uh, does have his uh Aghanim scepter completed uh, but there is still a lot of momentum which is working towards the favor of level up uh, they have their sny completed on their alchemist as it's sitting at 15,000 compared to the dragon knight who is sitting at 8,000. now this is a big difference uh Dragon Knight did go for that uh, aggressive blink dagger build. So his farm is going to be slower in that regard. Is only at level 13. When we come at, uh, when we are looking at Alchemist, Alchemist, who is already at level 16. And then Husker gaining speed uh, at 14 as well. But, um, Doom, of course, uh, is a hero which uh, has his BKB completed. Is going into a Shiva's guard as his next choice of item. So he does extremely well. Eventually, we are looking at a pressure of being completed by the Doom as well. So two heroes would be completely nullified. And now it is nine pandas who are buying time in this game number one against the side of level up. Okay, so the aggression has kind of halted and uh, nine pandas have chosen to play more defensively. They are more split up now. They have uh, stopped being uh, grouped up in a specific area and uh, solo is going to be the next choice of target of course they would be able to get a kill pagna coming in with the damage dude next game i'm looking at the pagna ban there is no way nine pandas are going to give away pagna in the hands of level up uh yeah he's just too deadly in its only guard now it is going to be husker who would be able to go ahead and pick uh the ages of immortal for, for himself of course would be able to go ahead and do the arm that toggle successfully uh, in case if he dies would be a shameful but yeah no, i don't think the husband is in any threat of dying here right so uh well eventually it is going to be the ages of immortal and now uh, i think nine pandas who have bkb completed i uh, know they're not going for a bkb instead they have gone uh, for uh, the assault cures belt onto the alchemist they would not be able to ca get a catch on erase of course no the hook shot has already connected are they able to lock him down uh, they are able to get a little bit of ping pong and the doom being committed they are able to bring down the mid laner from the side of nine pandas what is happening nine pandas is crumbling under the pressure people uh, it is what it is. Uh, now the situation is a 13,000 network lead for the side of level up. Uh, they do have the Ages of Immortal in the hands of Huskar as well. So yeah, things looking a little hairy for Nine Pandas. And the upcoming five minutes are going to be extremely crucial. Where then um, the side of level up are just wanting to be pushing the lanes out. Uh, that is going to be their major objective at the moment. We are not looking at a smoke as yet coming out. So they are still... Uh, what are the items which they are waiting for? Um, she was guard of case, of course, still quite some distance away uh, for uh, Doom. Um, and uh, Focus is... Uh, well, he should be okay. Uh, there is the, the, the there is no blink as yet on the Bat Rider. Still about 1,000 gold away from it. So that initiation is uh, still not a threat uh, for the side of level up uh, though they are playing aggressive on the map they have already moved on to the radiant over the entire side of the jungle uh, 
uh, to a certain degree uh, but uh, nine pandas are doing a decent job in order to avoid these fights altogether now with the sny completed there is a nice stun coming out from dragon knight and it was just the quicker fingers on yuta when the hook shot is going to miss as well so a couple of the skills missing out he would be able to blink away to the safety into the jungle and then use the twin gate in order to walk away from the area altogether so nice evade coming in from the dragon knight who was at least able to walk away from the area and uh, evading another fight so uh, just buying more time on the side of uh, nine pandas so that they don't have to go against uh, this lineup who has the ages in their hands so they are doing a pretty decent job in order to farm up their items and there is eventually in heaven's half bread uh, which is being built uh, by the Husker and he would have it completed in about say, 77 more gold which he will have it after the screen wave so uh, Heaven's Halbred does make a major impact uh, because in case if you get uh, the Halbred being uh, kind of uh, applied onto the Dragon Knight uh, yeah he's he's not going to be doing anything for three seconds and in case if he's in ranged form he's going to be disabled for five seconds uh, which he would be of course it's a team fight and dragon knight he would be in dragon form so five seconds of uh, dragon knight not doing anything literally uh that's again going to be troublesome but how nine pandas take this upcoming fight is going to be extremely interesting um now uh utah is um, no he's not going to be in any threat there is uh, of course no blink dagger on doom so that blink doom surprise element is still not existing for level up but they have already gone with going ahead and um, occupying a lot of space uh, their net worth lead has increased to 15,000 on the side of level up top tower is under attack. all right they would be no uh, they are just not making any they, uh, well, nine pandas are still evading uh, solo yes solo is going to go down uh, he would be making an attempt but no there is of course the unstable concussion coming in from uh, the alchemist and we are looking at focus who is at a mega kill streak at the moment all right so uh, how the things have changed uh, for the side of night uh, for the side of nine pounders after the first 15 minutes wherein one bad fight has actually caused them the entire game altogether uh, by the looks of it but they are not out of it yet they would be scaling hard into the later stages of the game wherein this bristol back again would be becoming a complete monster has uh, gone with the lotus orb uh, after his Aghanim Scepter is going into his SNY as his next choice of item. Of course, he wants to tank up a lot more uh, against uh, what Nine Ban, uh, against what level up are uh, bringing to the table. So um, now it is uh, the smoke being committed. Only 42 seconds. Crystalback is the hero who will be caught. Uh, again, the cogs have been connected and the AoE do. Here we do. No way this Bristol back survives. Dude, that's the tankiest hero on the side of Nine Pandas who just melts to the pressure. It was the AoE Doom which was committed. Doom, well, he go ahead and went ahead and committed Doom on himself. Uh, but again, yeah, so uh, no way the Bristol back would have survived that engagement. And now uh, we are looking at a 4 versus 5 situation. Are we looking at any tower push? Not by the looks of it. Uh, they would be able to get a pick off onto the clockwork. Uh, so that is again, uh, are they? No, they're not even going to come in. He is able to use his jetpack, get away from the area, uh, regaining all of his HP, courtesy the Pagna, who well, who has done wonders. Who, uh, he has actually been the blessing for the side of level up, in my opinion, because he's the hero, I think, who has done the most job. And with him, the Doom as well. Doom has completely played off or out of his mind. Uh, now we are looking at an alchemist who is sitting at, what, 22,000 net worth against his name. Uh, does have the Silver Edge completed, so... Uh, that is again Dragon Knight. He would not be that much more tankier now. Uh, they would be able to get another pick off. Solo is the, going to be the hero who dies in this. Uh, hook shot will have to be eventually committed. Uh, but again, we have a clockwork who is dominating, dude. Uh, there is a dominating clockwork. Now, they would be able to get a break on the Bristol back, but I don't think Alchemist has enough damage um, uh, by himself in order to bring him down. So we'll have to back away. And they would be able to get a successful D ward. Uh, 206 going into the pockets of Yamaj uh, would be very happy a uh, lot of gold for an observer ward now with the 19,000 net worth lead on the side of uh, level up uh, it is still nine pandas who are playing from behind we are looking at the win probability of 78 percent towards the side of level up but they're not out of it nine pandas they can still make a pretty decent comeback in this game if given the opportunity but uh, would be interesting to see what exactly they are able to come up with are they able to hold off enough so that their heroes actually become a threat in this game 
All right, so uh, of course we did see the Heavens Halbert already completed is working towards his Aghanim Scepter, uh, which will make Bristol back a l Well, I'm not exactly sure how exactly that works, that engagement is going to work. Uh, Husker will have an Aghanim Scepter, uh, which forces heroes to face him. Uh, Bristol back would be facing against them using his, of course, Bristol back as well. Um, so, uh, what uh, does he just keep continue facing away? Now, the most important kill on the map for Nine Pandas, they were able to get that, get a kill onto the Padna. But now they are making an attempt onto uh, the Bristol back, who is falling low on HP as the Doom is already applied. Now they will be able to get a kill onto the Dragon Knight, of course. Ember Spirit does come into the picture. Husker with his BKB is able to dish out a lot of damage. It is going to be one hero who has already TP'd away from the engagement. In fact, all of the heroes are just going to survive. And in fact, the Doom, well, all of these heroes are going to survive. Though it is going to be one for one trade uh, for both of these teams. But uh, I think Nine Pandas are going to be definite, definitely happier of the two who were able to successfully go ahead and evade that, uh, for, evade that for themselves. So with an 18 thousand net worth advantage um for the side of level up the amplified damage rune who did it go to okay ember does have it running for himself with the amplified damage all uh, right uh, so uh, what exactly is the next uh, objective it's going to be 54 seconds before uh, roshan is going to be respawning so uh, more of a downtime and the next objective of course for the radiant team is going to be the rush bet now is there going to be a contest coming in from nine pandas is something we will be witnessing very fast within a minute or so so yeah uh, that's going to be our next uh, kind of an uh, objective which both of these teams are going to be playing for um in terms of itemization we do have a blink dagger of course completed on solo uh, is working towards his four star pretty late timing uh, in his old regard has died a couple of too many times um, in the later stages of the game uh, we are looking at uh, erase who does have his bkb along with uh, the mate slayer and the veil of discord so he's going to build into the shiva's guard uh, as his next choice of item uh, do how far are we from the aghanim scepter we are still quite some distance away for the aghanim scepter on the vengeful spirit uh, bristol we did see uh, has his uh, sanj completed now along with the lotus orb which it did have competed earlier and the uh, dragon knight is working with uh, well they would be able to get the vision on doom whom they are able to get the stun upon now this is going to be a big target they are able to also get the last one to him but the, it was already the bkb which was already applied uh, they would also be able to get a swap though they would not get the opportunity to apply the doom in this situation and it is going to be level up who are going to photo, well who are going to just give up on the uh, on their off lane now and now the rest of the team have to back away from the engagement. They would also be able to get a, a damage on the Husker, who will have a BKB available. He can just go, choose to go ahead and TP out, as there is um, no one alone in the area. They did have, uh, they did not have the swab available as well. And uh, of course, the lasso was uh, on cooldown for another 40 seconds, so they did not have any BKB piercing stun available. As a reward, uh, nine pandas are able to get their hands on the pages of uh, on the, onto the ages. Uh, with that kill on Doom, and which should actually go ahead and make them a feel, make them feel a little more comfortable. At least it did not go in the hands of nine, uh, in the hands of Level Up, wherein uh, they could have taken some serious uh, high ground damage. But that was uh, not to be the situation. Getting a nice pick off onto the Doom that did enable them to go ahead and. Uh, get the ages but now solo is going to be a lot of trouble of course he is going to go down there is no way this bat rider survives uh, there are three heroes who have a lockdown uh, a lot of lockdown for themselves so would be able to chase down solo so another pick off but again nine pandas are buying their time right they are playing at a 16,000 net worth disadvantage now with uh, it is going to be focused who is just going to jump in and they are able to finish up with them ouch jeez 48 seconds before you have the eventual spread online do our uh, that is a bristol back who did come and tp in uh, aggressively now they are dishing out a lot of damage there is the break already applied so we'll have to walk away but look at the damage this alchemist is doing to the building brother uh it is already the set of racks with, and it is going to be bristol back who's of course going to die in this engagement 
Uh, the Aegis of Immortal has already been consumed. It is going to be the Husker who is going to be finding himself in a lot of trouble. Is trying to back away from the engagement but would not be able to get the connection onto the Ember Spirit. Now it is going to be the Pagna who, is, who did go ahead and declare himself but eventually they would be able to get a kill onto the Pagna. There is the Lasso which has also been committed onto the Husker and this is going to be the BKB which was committed by Husker but he is also going to go down. So a lot of successful kills coming out from Nine Pandas wherein they did lose their mid set of racks. A nice aggressive play coming in from level up but how much are they going to be losing in return? Uh, would be the big question right so in terms of buyback uh, there is no buyback on anyone uh, except Pagna uh, but I don't think they would be able to approach the high ground the maximum they can get out of this situation is uh, going to be the tier 2 tower in the mid lane and they would not be able to get anything more than that on the side of level up uh, on the side of uh, 9 pandas all right, so uh, 14,000 net worth lead is what it has been decreased to. Initially, what it was at close to 20,000. Uh, but one set of racks already taken. They have uh, a lot more objectives uh, to take before they can feel more comfortable. Because the mid set of racks really does not cut it right. Uh, though they do have a Doom who is uh, working towards his refresher orb. And he will have those two Dooms available, which technically means it is going to be a 3 versus uh, 5 situation. So... Uh, a lot to look forward to uh, for the side of level ups. They are still scaling in terms of their heroes. Alchemist is pretty topped up. He is uh, what uh, at level 23 with 6 slotted. He can go for uh, passing out the Aghanim Scepter, go into a Moonshard as is uh, another upgrade. Uh, not exactly sure where he, he is planning to fit in the Basher. I don't think he can fit in the Basher anywhere. Uh, will need the boots in order to chase these heroes because they are pretty speedy in their own regard but does have a swift blink as an answer so uh, can go ahead and get rid of his boots and uh, go into the basher if uh, that's the route he wants to go into alright so the game is going to resume uh, it is going to be 9 pandas who are going to be extremely aggressive on the map now they want to bring down as many objectives as they can before these respawns uh, come to take effect for the side of uh, level up which they are not even going to attempt the tier 2 tower they're just going to back away uh, with one team fight yes they are feeling much better in terms of uh, they did get a couple of good kills but in return a big objective was also taken over by level up uh, right so moving on in the game now with a 16,000 net worth lead uh, it is still going to continue uh, growing um, what are the big items next Husker uh, is going to work on a satanic uh, is going to become a, a lot more survivable in these team fights once he has that item completed. Though against a Bristleback, he will always be facing problems, but uh, he will have answers uh, that he would be able to stand his ground after committing with his BKB. Um, on uh, well, on uh, Utah, we are looking at uh, a Bloodthorn completed. Uh, now with a level 23 Dragon Knight, he is becoming a big damage dealer. Uh, now he would, uh, he's not going into his uh, Daedalus, instead he's going for uh, Lincoln Spear to work with. Of course, uh, does want to get rid of that uh, applied, well it is uh, going to be that Heaven's Halbred which is applied onto him or the Husker committing with his uh, Light Break. Uh, more aggression being shown, Jetpack coming into the picture. They would be able to get a vision, uh, but there's a nice wrap around. They would not be able to get a vision, but the BKB has already been committed by uh, the Doom. They would be able to get their vision onto the Dragonite, who is trying to TP back to the base. Who would be able to successfully do so. They've already lost two supports in the process, though, since this was a 3 versus 5 situation. Now, let's see if they're able to get a kill on Erase. There is a Silver Edge, Bristol, but there is a Silver Edge being committed, and they would be able to get the break now. They're not able to get the break, but again, the damage input would be there from the um, it is uh, going to be Husker who does go ahead and join the area, but Bristleback is pretty speedy, no, pretty speedy in his own regard. Are they able to catch? Get the catch? They should be. It's a pretty long chase coming in from the uh, Radiant team. They would be able to get another break, but if it is going to be the Clockwork who would eventually be joining the party. Uh, once he is able, well, he does have uh, the hook shot available as well, and now it is going to be the Bristleback who finally goes down. Is he able to get any kill? He should be able to get the kill, and no. So close, but yet so far. Eventually, they are able to bring down the Bristleback. It was, what, a 40-second chase? 
a 50 second chase maybe uh, but it was a long ass chase from the side of level up eventually they are able to bring down the big back bristol back and uh, getting a lot more gold into their pocket though uh, there is no objective which was taken since uh, they were chasing him uh, just they were just chasing him across the map really uh, anyways it is an 18000 net worth lead more gold coming into the pockets of level up uh, they are at a big advantage and nine pandas uh, right there are no big items being completed of course the agonum scepter quite still quite some distance away uh, for erase uh, solo does have his uh, four staff completed bench uh, still quite some no nowhere close to the agonum scepter uh, Bristol is working towards his BKB, would have that completed in uh, not such a long time. And now, the uh, well, it is uh, still the Lincoln Spear, uh, which is being built uh, by the Dragon Knight. But uh, how many uh, ultimates are you actually going to evade with that ticket? Of course, there is Doom you are looking at, uh, which would be evaded. It is going to be a three-man smoke. Well, uh, Soon joining would be the Ember Spirit, so this is going to become a four-man smoke coming in from uh, Nine Pandas. Uh, they would be able to find the Clockwork. Clockwork is uh, Donzo, dude. No, he is able to jet. <laughs> Look at him, Speedy. Look at the Speedy bugger. Uh, they can't. Uh, so the smoke uh, not being fruitful for the side of uh, the Dire team, and they will have to back away. Look at the, all these Speedy heroes. Now, there was the Doom, which was committed already applied to the... Ember Spirit who is dead. This team fight is over. This team fight is technically over and the rest of the side of the Dire team are going to be backing away. They don't have the damage and control which is offered by Ember Spirit. In terms of the buyback, we don't have a buyback on Ember uh, for about a thousand gold. So we will not have that available. Are they going for the tier 4 towers? Why are they going mid? No, they are going to the top area of the map wherein they... Well, look at it. Going ham on the tower, dude. Just going ham on the tower. Uh, his chemical rage did come, go well, go out, so there is uh, no Roshan. Uh, for well, we, there is a still minute and 33 seconds before we know when the Roshan is going to be spawning. Couple of stuns being thrown out on the hands of the Husker, but again he does have uh, uh, he does not have a Satanic, but has a BKB to work with. They are going to be making an attempt on uh, the second tower, but now uh, understanding that uh, yeah the Ember is going to be spawning in 23 seconds, uh, are they going to be making the aggressive move? Uh, it is uh, still going to be a pistol back who is guarding his uh, set of racks. Um, are they, they, do, they don't have the doom for another 52 seconds, so yeah. They will have to back away. There is no way they are able to continue the engagement since the Ember Spirit is uh, going to be spawning any minute now. Uh, well, now a 24,000 net worth lead uh, for uh, the side of level up. Uh, level 20 on the Doom. Uh, which talent did he go for? 2.5% uh, Infernal Blade ma max HP as damage. So in case in uh, in case if any of these cores are uh, low on HP on the side of Nine Pandas, I mean both the Dragon Knight and the Bristol Back, they are going to be taking a significant amount of damage. And the Infernal Blade, of course, would be just shredding these uh, HP of these high tanking HP heroes. So another big item being completed uh, or big talent being picked up by the Doom. Um, on Husker, we did go with the minus five life break cooldown since he has uh, his Aghanim Scepter. is still working towards his uh, Satanic. And once he has that, would be feeling more comfortable in, in these team fights. Uh, what about uh, Pagna? The gem carrier on the side of level up it does have the glimmer cape as well is working towards his octarine core and clockwork of course has been a menace does have his aghanim scepter as well um, so uh, that overclocking thing is, is is very very annoying dude it's extremely annoying to play against you will never be able to hide anywhere on the map and this clockwork is just going to be pushing out lanes like there is no tomorrow uh, just look at him it, and cooldown is pretty ridiculous as well rocket players how many rocket players does he get uh, just, yeah. So the entire map control is in the hands of uh, level up currently. Uh, not enough space for nine panels uh, in order to farm up their items. So it has to be a big team fight, uh, which has to be doing it for nine panels. Uh, the pickoffs are going to be difficult since they are at a major vision disadvantage. And as we are looking at it, the only hero out on the map is currently solo. Uh, and he is just trying to get as much as vision as he can across the map. And the rest of the dire team are still hiding away near their base. Uh, right, so now le let's go ahead and look at uh, the overclocking. Oh, 
overclocking three seconds rocket flare rocket flare so he gets what two three rocket flares to start off with uh, while we are looking at it it is uh, the, going to be the ages of immortal uh, which is going to be the next target uh, in fact he gets four yeah uh, so, Ages of Immortal uh, is going to be the next target uh, for uh, level up. They should be able to get it without any problems. While, no, they should not be. Uh, there are a lot of Nine Panda here, heroes heading into the area. Uh, are they able to finish it in time? Uh, the scan is... Uh, they know that the, it is going on. The Flame Break has been thrown out uh, by uh, the Bat Rider. They are immediately able to get a Doom onto the Vista back, so he's completely out of the picture. Uh, Aegis is going down. Roshan is falling down rapidly and with the Doom already applied on the Bristol. Since he's not a hero, they can work with Overclocking coming to the picture. is able to get the vision. Successful uh, Quark connection onto the Dragonite. Now, they would be able to dish out the damage. Now, Clockwork is going to survive. In fact, Huskar is going to be finding himself in a lot of trouble. Already committed with his BKB. The Aegis of Immortal is going to go down from his hands. Uh, now, the, uh, it is a Batrider who is going to be buying back into the engagement. But it is going to be the Alchemist who will able to get a decent amount of damage done. Bristleback is just melting through the damage coming out of the Bugnite survive. No, the crystal back is dead. It is going to be a uh, well. Uh, the next hero to fall down is, of course, going to be the Ember Spirit. Crystal back buys back into the engagement, but not enough damage. Huska goes down the second time, has brought back into the engagement, and it is nine pandas. Only two heroes remaining. Are they able to win it? No, Huskar is going to be standing big and strong, dude. Huskar wins the fight. Eventually, it is Huskar. Now, uh, it is an uh, it is a triple kill for the Ember Spirit. Ultra kill for the Huskar who goes down. And the bot back, Bristol back, is going to come in and finish the kill onto the Pagna. So, the lone survivor after, uh, what, three big buybacks on the side of Nine Pandas. One buyback from the side of Level Up. Eventually, that fight uh, goes into the hands of Nine Pandas. A big ass fight now with a 25,000 net worth advantage on the side of Level Up, but they did lose uh, their Husker for a good 100 seconds, and a lot of Nine Panda heroes lost their lives themselves. So, just looking at looking at the crazy damage numbers, uh, yeah, 9,000 gold gained uh, by the side of Nine Pandas. Uh, a total of what uh, 36,000 damage done in that team fight by the Radiant team. Uh, Husker did 20. 20, 21,000 damage in the fight, dude. He literally did 21,000 damage in that fight. Now, uh, Bristol Bark should not be able to. Well, he well there is still the glyph available. Uh, they will glyph this, right? They have to. They're not going to glyph their tier three tower. They're just going to let it go. But yeah, they are going to be saving their glyph for later. And of course, we'll be looking at Doom, who would be coming in and cleaning out the screen wave. So. Their barracks actually don't take any damage. Uh, now with a 23,000 net worth advantage uh, for the side of Level Up. Uh, by the way, that that, that, that team fight actually, uh, you know, gave away a lot of gold into the pockets of Nine Pandas, and their items would have certainly. Well, there was a die back on the Ember Spirit, so he would not be able to get anything. Well, he is very close to his Aghanim Scepter. Only about a thousand gold, 900 gold away from it. So that's one item which will be completed. BKB is being worked upon by Solo. We'll have that um, before the next team fight as well. Only needs about 800 more gold in order to complete it. Aghanim Scepter, only about 160 gold away. So two lives on Yamage, of course, is going to be pretty helpful. And Bristleback um, uh, uh, with his uh, Bloodstone. And uh, well, uh, is still working towards his BKB. Right. Uh, the tw level 25 talent, which was picked up by Bristleback, was the plus 18 Warpath damage per stack. Uh, is the talent he went for, so just more out and out damage in these team fights. Uh, looking at the rest of the 25 talents, we have Dragonite, who did go with the plus 400 AoE Dragon Tail during Elder Dragon form. Uh, so he will be doing AoE stunts in these team fights. Uh, we are looking at only level 17 on uh, the Vengeful Spirit. Uh, Erase does not have his level 25 as yet, uh, so still quite some distance away from it. On Husker, we have uh, level 25 plus 6 burning spears duration, plus 6 seconds, I mean, uh, which is uh, actually quite a lot. Uh, right on. Uh, another any, any other 25? No. Uh, Doom is still very far away from his 25. Alchemist, of course, is uh, plus 50 chemical rage movement speed is what he went with. Uh, very speedy hero. 
when he uh, uses his uh, chemical raid so a difficult hero to catch up to of course uh, did go ahead and get rid of his boots uh, uh, is uh, working with a disperser so yeah again uh, more movement speed coming into the alchemist more, uh, more attack speed to work with did not go with the basher they would be able to get a successful connection on to the missile back where he would be able to survive this time around the damage output is not enough doom jumps in into four heroes get it doom gets his doom onto the bench already but already has the Aghanim scepter so how is useful that is is a big question uh, now it is a husker who's fighting against four heroes at the moment they would be able to get a lasso husker is going to go down in an engagement and next it is going to be the alchemist who's going to well alchemist is straight trying to survive with the lotus orb he is able to get some distance away of course is using the invisibility at the moment and uh, they would be able to walk away two deaths already the supports are already down from the side of nine pandas and it is only going to be the husker falling in that engagement not exactly sure what they wanted to achieve because there were not many buybacks uh, but no the dragon knight did have a buyback so uh, not exactly sure what what why exactly they had to commit so deep uh, but now um, you know you're just facing off against a clockwork uh, they do have now they would be able to get a successful connection onto the hookshot and now it is going to be the clockwork who is no who is going to be deputified would be able to survive that gang but now dragon knight already lost his dragon form is taking a lot of damage and he's trying to walk away but no the damage is already done does have a buyback available and the doom has been applied on the bristol back which is not going to kill him of course but they are going to be missing their doom for quite some time now uh, doom did go ahead and self doom himself so will not have that available both, both dooms are off cooldown uh, but i don't think they can approach the high ground on the side of level up uh, they will have to back away from this area altogether because uh, the, what the dragon knight can go ahead and respawn at any second uh, does have that buyback available uh, husker would be up in 22 seconds so they are just waiting for their husker to come back into the fight though solo is going in and hiding in the trees he wants to get a lasso he wants to get a big lasso uh, for his team so if he's able to do that uh, again they could be in a chance but uh, still a very questionable start though there is no doom available it is what the lincoln spear which has been applied on the alchemist dishing out a lot of damage and focus is uh, just a beast at the moment um, now they are going to go ahead and push out solo so 38 seconds they don't want to commit with the buyback on the, the dragon knight is dishing out a lot of damage and the towers are we are going to be the one who are taking a significant amount of damage at the moment the hook shot is not going to connect to any hero but the jetpack does make him move around the map pretty swiftly and with the tier 3 tower already taken 22 seconds uh, before the doom uh, before the dragon knight is actually going to respawn uh, the side of level up are going to back away uh, interestingly so 25,000 net worth lead by them and uh, with uh, buybacks being scarce uh, for the side of uh, nine pandas they will have to be careful in this game we have already approached the 48 minute mark so the tier 4 neutral items are already out we are looking at a havoc hammer on uh, the alchemist which brings the hero closer uh, not picked up on the doom as yet still working with tier 3 solo is in the area they would be able to uh, go ahead and break the lincoln on the doom uh, when they would not be able to get the catch onto lasso so no lasso available uh, but the lasso is still available but they are going to be chasing after the hook shot is going to miss onto the dragon knight the flight is a pretty much better fight a lot of damage husker is going to go ahead and stand his ground to shout the damage which he wants to bkb already committed is doing a decent chunk of it it's not going to survive for the longest of periods but in fact he is going to he's still standing his ground but eventually it is going to be husker who falls down in that engagement while all of that was happening they would be able to bring down all of the rest of the remaining heroes and alchemist is going to be the king of the hill he is the king of the hill people there is no bringing down this alchemist and doom and now by the looks of it this is gg this is definitely gg another hookshot connect uh, connecting on the side of level up they are feeling themselves they are they know they have already won this game there is no chance of a comeback on the side of nine pandas and as a big and huge upset it is going to be level up who are going to be taking game number one for themselves in this best of three series by the looks of it right so um are they uh well that is uh no they should be able to do it right there is no buyback on any of the radiant uh on a player heroes they are able to get the break applied on the bristol back it is a die back on bristol back as well yeah now do you call it gg no, 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 uh, no. There is a buyback being committed by the Ember Spirit, but they are going to be focus focusing the tower. Um, Ancient taking a lot of damage here. Alchemist is being pushed around on all corners of the map. And eventually, Nine Pandas call it GG, and it is going to be level up. 
who are taking a game away from nine pandas in this game number one all it took was 49 minutes and 39,000 extra gold for them to go ahead and finish this game. An excellent game of Dota. So uh, contrary to everyone's belief, Level Up are eventually able to take a game against Nine Pandas, which was an, a pretty interesting game in its own regard. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, people. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel in case if you are new here. And uh, we are going to continue with the stream with game number two in between both of these teams. Would be interesting to see if Nine Pandas are actually able to make a comeback uh, in this uh, series, or is it going to be Level Up who are going to be, or, or is it going to be Level Up who will show us? If it was a fluke that they got the skill. By the looks of it, no, it was a pretty good fight, a darn good fight back by Level Up, and uh, we will be heading into game number two, of course. So stay tuned in, enjoy the music. I'll be taking a short breather, and I will be joining you guys back for game number two in this best of three series stay tuned in people i'll see you guys soon